We're looking at the C2 2016 May paper, question 9, part B. Given that BC equals Y metres, where Y is greater than zero, and the area of the enclosure is 1,000 metres squared, show that this equation is true. So the first thing we're going to do is notice that A is 1,000 metres. So we're going to have... A is 1,000, we're certainly going to use that at some point, but first of all, let's think about what A is made up of. It's made up of a rectangle, a triangle, and a sector. So let's think about how these, the formulae for each of these areas. We know that the rectangle is base times height. We know that a triangle is a half base times height, and the sector is a half r squared theta. Do you know what the base, the base is of our rectangle? Well, we know that the top of it is made up of x and x. It's going to be 2x. And the reason we know that is because the radius is x here, since they're both ra this line here and this line here are both radi uh, radii. So they're both x. And because this is an equilateral triangle, all the sides are going to have side x. So the base of our, tri uh, our rectangle is going to be 2x, and the height is y. For our triangle, we're thinking, what's, we know what the base, that's x, but what about the height? Well, if we think about our sine rule, we've got sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Well, the opposite side is this dash side, that's what we're trying to work out. And the hypotenuse is this here, which is x. So let's take the hypotenuse to the other side. And we can substitute in h equals x, because we know that to be true. So we've labelled it opposite, but actually that's our height. So in our formula here, we're going to have height equals x sine theta. You can also remember the formula for a triangle is just a half base uh, times one of the sides sine theta. For the area of our sector, we're going to use what we found in part a which is that it is pi over 3 x squared. For our sine theta, well, we know that all the angles in an equilateral triangle equal 60 degrees, or in radians, pi by 3. And we also know that sine of pi by 3, either you can memorize it or put it into your calculator, it's root 3 over 2. So we're going to factorize out an x squared from our last two terms. Next, we're going to try and get rid of this fraction inside, because again, we're looking at what we're trying to prove, and there's no fraction in here. So let's try and pull out these fractions here. And to do that, let's first make them over a common factor. So if we times the first time by 3 over 3 and the second term by 4 over 4, then now they're both over 12. And of course, we can do this because this is just 1. We can times anything by 1. So we're going to pull out a 12. Uh, I'll just make a bit more room. So we've got 1,000 equals this here. We need to isolate y. So let's try and get y on the left-hand side. And we'll bring the 1,000 over to the... or rather this last term over to the left-hand side and then switch both the sides. Let's divide both sides by 2x. So 1,000 divided by 2 is 500. If we divide x squared by 2x, so we're going to get rid of one of the x's. And I'm just going to go that last step and write it in exactly the same form that they're asking us to show. So I'm going to switch the last two terms. So 4pi plus 3 root 3, as required. <laughs> 